summer after lockdown ended in Canada, was really excited to get on my mountain bike. It's one of my favorite hobbies in the summertime. Um, and pretty much right away, I had a really bad crash. Uh, I hit a tree going pretty fast and just lost control and came off my bike, went right into the tree and I fractured five ribs, my collarbone and punctured and collapsed a lung. So luckily I was never in any danger of any permanent damage, I wasn't gonna die or anything like that, but having an impact like that, it hit one of the most protective parts of your body and I broke a lot of bones, so it was uh, pretty scary moments in the hospital. I just had to rest for like two and a half months and um, then I was okay to start training again. It gave me a lot of appreciation for being able to train and push hard in the gym because that becomes a grind after a lot of years. Uh, 10 years on the World Cup now, so you don't really look forward to working out anymore. <laughs> it gave me a little bit of time to reflect on skiing and to be super grateful that I have a chance to go to one more Olympics and hopefully defend my gold medal. So I built a gym in my garage, uh, which ended up paying off because the more the summer went on, it just kept getting more and more complicated and sometimes the gym would be open and closed. So it was really difficult to find a training rhythm. But for me, having everything at home, when everything first shut down, I borrowed equipment from the gym and I never thought I would like working out at home. I kind of wanted it to be separate. But then when I had equipment at home, I really loved it and I was able to work out really fast and gave me a little more balance in my life. I could just go downstairs to the garage and train for an hour and then rest and kind of focus on normal life, real life, and then go back in for another session. So when I got my own equipment, I've been loving it, absolutely loving it training at home. My plan always at the throughout the summer was to take a little bit more of a break this year. That I think last year and the year before, I skied a little bit too much in the summer and by the time December rolled around, I was kind of burnt out and was sick of traveling and being on the road and, and being living out of the suitcase. I skied about 12 days in Sasfe and then I skied seven days back uh, home in Canada, which was great. And then we had another few days uh, over in Switzerland in Lox and, and then in Austria in Pitzdal. So I had lots of skiing, enough for me. Um, I'm, pretty old now on the World Cup, so I'm not going to learn too many new things, so I don't need to ski too much, I feel like, anymore. Winning a globe is always on my mind. It's one thing that I've been close to, yeah, four times in the top three, which is great. I always, it's, it's a bit of a battle for me mentally because every time I get close, I start to focus too much on the globe, and then the last few races kind of fade away. and. And then last year I had two podiums only and finished third. So it changes every season. I do think this year being a more experienced athlete and, and with everyone in the world being a little more uncertain about their preparation, that it gives me a little bit of an edge. I'm really just trying to go race to race. And if I can go race to race and give myself a chance to be on the podium and ski at my best, then hopefully uh, when things shake down at the end of the year, I'll be close to, if not holding the globe finally.